Hello, welcome back everybody. I am the Bradley Assassin. This is the Bradley Assassin live stream here on the Bradley Assassin YouTube channel. I'd like to thank everyone for taking some time today to hop into our live stream and giving us some views. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. That's the only way the channel continues to grow. Uh, before we get started, if you guys uh, don't mind scrolling down into the description, and we'll cover that real quick before we uh, get too far into the video, so I don't have to continually answer those questions about what's going on down there. But in the description for the video, for the live stream, we have a place where you can buy a cold storage wallet. We have a place where you can uh, buy a collectible Dogecoin, some people like that. All the equipment I use here on the stream, a KuCoin referral code, and Bradley Assassin merchandise. And uh, without, without further ado, we're going to get the contest going so everyone can enter. I want to get that going because we do have an hour and a half run time. So that we give everyone plenty of time to hop into the contest and get a chance to, to win. And we'll go over that a little bit more in a second. Let's see here. Uh, let me just edit this real quick and uh, make sure it's correct. And then we will be on our way. Uh, almost got you guys. Always, a, always a few settings that that uh, slip my slip slip through the cracks whenever we're doing these uh these giveaways and live streams. Thought I had everything, but one second. I just don't want it to be a problem later. And I think we got it. Okay. Oh, wait, there's one more thing. So many settings, you guys. And like I said, I thought I had all this, but when I triple checked, I just realized I forgot something. But just give me a second. All right. I think I got it. Let me take a chance and, and see if it goes off without a hitch here. It should let everyone know when the contest starts. There we go. And I will reset the timer. I added a timer on the page, you guys, so we can see. So as you can see, we got a uh, uh, 1,500 Dogecoins giveaway has started for viewers. Use exclamation Doge to enter the giveaway. And then uh, this time I was able to dig up and find out how to add a timer on screen so everyone can see how much time we have left in the contest. So I think I missed something a second ago. Uh, Mr. Ian Ninja Defender with a $2 super chat sticker of the Doge Dog. Thank you, my friend. Very much appreciated. Uh, very generous of you, my friend. Thank you. And uh, so the contest is officially underway. For those that aren't familiar with how our contests and giveaways, uh, pr I say contest, it's pretty much a giveaway, uh, go here on the Bradley Assassin live stream. Very, very simple. The chatbot handles everything. It's completely random that way. There are no favorites and, and nothing can be done uh, maliciously. But as you can see in the, in the live stream with the chat, it tells you uh, that the giveaway is currently running for 1,500 Dogecoins. Uh, you simply have to type exclamation doge, exclamation D-O-G-E, one, one word, no, no spaces, and the chatbot will notify you that you have been entered. You can only enter once, and at the end of the one and a half hour runtime, the chatbot will randomly select the winner. You must be a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber and your name is chosen, I will choose someone else. So make sure you subscribe and like, to, like the stream. And the channel i mean subscribe to the channel and and like the uh, live stream also if you don't mind click the notification bell and select all for notifications that way you are notified every time we go live 
and every time we have a giveaway here at the Bradley Assassin live stream, the way we've been handling it is we simply uh, every Monday during our live stream, we let the community choose on what they want me to give away on the upcoming giveaway. And typically our giveaways have been held on Friday afternoons U.S. time. So if you want to participate in, into what you would have, you know, have an option of what you'd like me to give away and you can join in the voting on that, make sure to hop in our live streams on Monday as that's how we decide what prizes we will be giving away on the upcoming giveaways such as today. Also during these live streams, we obviously have a lot of chat and a lot of, uh, you know, chat bot information being spread. So if I miss some questions or some comments and stuff like that, uh, I'm not doing it intentionally. It's simply because we just are very, very busy during these giveaways. And uh, Mr. Gabriel Quarantana, Quar Quar Quaranta, thank you for the $2 super chat. Wishing everyone good luck. Appreciate it, my friend. Very generous. I hope everyone's been keeping up with the Bradley Assassin YouTube channel. You can see we started putting out shorter videos. Uh, we focused on uh, VeChain hitting all-time highs a couple days ago. And just today we put out a uh, Hoj uh, Finance video, kind of touching on what Hoj Finance is, how you can buy it, pretty much all things related to Hoj Finance. So I hope everyone found it at least informative. That way you can go behind me and do some more research and, and decide for yourself if it's, if it's something you'd like to uh, invest in or that you're interested in at all. And uh, overall, you can see the market's a little down today from yesterday. Uh, VeChain was approaching 7.1, 7.2 cents at some points this morning and last night. I mean, last night and this morning. But of course, we're down to about 6.5 cents, which is fine. It's just the entire market's down a little bit. Uh, across the board uh, and Mr. Toth says I got hold you last night and doubled my investment in six hours yes ladies and gentlemen you know I, I, we got we got a lot of comments on on that video uh, mostly positive, you know, people that took the time to at least research it and, and look into it and, and decide for themselves if it's, it's something they're interested in. There were some negative comments, uh, some pretty vicious negative comments, actually. And, you know, I, I don't get it. You know, look, I, I don't all I do is research these coins and, and relay information. You know, as you can see here on the screen, it's for entertainment purposes only. I'm not an, a financial advisor. Certainly not an expert. But, uh. You know, people were, were being pretty, pretty vicious about it. And the truth is, look, I'm not a developer. I'm not a coder. All I can do is dig and dig and dig and, you know, re re give information to the community. And, you know, I even I even went dig and this was not easy to find, but I even went find the audit release and the audit review showing that. They pass with flying colors and everything is legitimate. I mean, if you pass an, an audit, I would think that the coin is at least uh, certifiable, you know, in some kind of way. So I guess it's not for everyone. You know, some people think it's, uh, I guess maybe it's too good to be true in some cases kind of thing. And and look, I, I'm, I'm as... I'm as skeptical as anyone. Like, I, that's why I dig so hard and try and find out stuff like that. Look, is it a sure thing? No, of course not. I mean, it might not work out, but it's a it's a very, very, very low entry point coin. And I just personally thought it was interesting. I loved the idea of, of every time a transaction is made or a swap is made, you know, 1% uh, of it is burned off and 1% is, is put back in, into liquidity into the entire stakeholders. You know, everyone, it's like you automatically staking kind of. And I don't know, it just seems fantastic. Uh, and, and I personally chose to invest. And look, if you choose not to, that's fine. But uh, I, I would really appreciate it if those, if anyone here that was being very vicious towards us and, and negative, you know, perhaps maybe keep it to yourself or just suggest uh, maybe co come across with your opinions in a little less damning nature because uh, we're just trying to better ourselves here. I'm certainly not picking on anyone or mean to upset anybody. Uh, I just thought it would be something interesting to take a look at and uh, Look, you don't have to invest in it. If you don't like the coin, 
just move on, you know, and, and we'll we'll discuss more more things as they come about. But right now, that is a hot topic. Uh, I, I tried to find out about it as soon as I could so that I could get the information to everyone so we could take advantage of it. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. But no one's forcing anyone to invest. So I don't get the the, the malicious activity and, and, and hatred towards, you know, when, when information like that is being shared. But to each his own, I suppose. I do welcome all comments and I try and be very patient with them. I just... Uh, you know, if you'd invested at the time I put out the video this morning, at 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 some point today, you probably could have made fifty percent on on in in the last twelve hours. And and like, okay, let's say the project doesn't work out long time and and whatnot. Even though I don't think that's the case, but then I I don't I don't get it. Do you not like profiting? It's weird. It's very strange sometimes. But, you know, enough of that. We're going to move on because that's not what today is about. Today is about the free giveaway, and we are giving away 1,500 Dogecoins. I smile every time I say that because it's it's you guys, the community, that, that shows so much support and allows us to uh, do these kinds of giveaways and, and have these kinds of things. So thanks, everyone, once more for being part of the Bradley Assassin uh, YouTube channel and live streams and videos and everything we do here. So let's see if I can catch up on this. Again, like I said, please forgive me if I'm missing some chat. Because uh, during these giveaways, there's a lot of chatbot spam. Mr. Stephen Toth uh, suggesting Rocket Bunny. Yes, yeah, someone has suggested that to me earlier. I'm going to try and take a look at that today after this, perhaps. Yeah, gas fees are rough on the Ethereum network, ladies and gentlemen. Everyone knows that. That's why Matic so important. And uh, that's why... Um, you know, the, these alternate blockchains that are doing DeFi are so important. That's why uh, the smart chain uh, project, uh, smart blockchain project on Binance uh, took off. That's why we're so excited to have uh, DeFi coming to VeChain. And that's why we're so excited to have DeFi coming to Cardano. These blockchain projects that are going to have significantly lower fees are going to give us uh, some chances to run DeFi, take advantage of the APYs at much uh, lower uh, gas fees. Welcome everybody. Hello. And if if you guys want to take a look at the tickers here, Bitcoin at about fifty six and a half, Ethereum at seventeen three, V chain down to about six point five. We had we had broke seven cents last night. It was very exciting yesterday. Cardano down to a dollar four, and Dogecoin down to five point three. And like I said, the whole market down a little bit. Uh, I tell you what, we can take a look at uh, Hogecoin real quick. Uh, Hogecoin not listed on a ton of. Uh, sites yet as, as as we said uh in the video for those that saw it uh it's about a month old give or take and obviously uh very new the audit just took place two days ago so uh just now it's starting to branch out to some more exchanges i think uh, one inch was the latest exchange that it was listed on but let's take a quick look at it and see where we stand right now and right now hogecoin sitting at uh point zero 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 six two two so as you can see uh up what is that kind of hard for me to read is that 198 in the last 24 hours and it fluctuates it very much it fluctuates a lot i understand that because of the nature of the beast you know you're always burning coins you know and and as the, and as there's more money put into it, it it's it it fluctuates it's very it's very volatile but that's that's the nature of the beast when you have a project that burns two percent every transaction along with the money putting in it's going to make the coin go up you know when you sell it's going to make the coin go down but the coolest thing about it is it kind of negates the whales in my opinion like if a whale wants to buy a bunch of it he's he's dropping two percent back into the pool in the form of one percent burn and in the form of one percent uh you know, back into, into the pool, into the shareholders or coin holders. And then when he sells, you know, if he's playing the market, it happens again. So it's, it's a pretty cool way to, to kind of offset the, uh, the, the whales. But that's why the coin fluctuates so much. Like I saw it upwards of, uh, 
in the sevens earlier today and then went down to fives again and then back up so a uh, very exciting coin uh, i really i really like that idea and first utopia with the five dollar super chat keep it up uh, keep it up sticker thank you my friend very appreciative very generous thank you Okay, uh, Miss Stephanie Deaton, what's my prediction on holes? You know what? I don't really have one yet. I know that's not the answer you're looking for, but look, honestly, I just bought into Doge uh, yesterday, was it? Or yesterday or this morning? Yesterday. Like uh, yesterday, some point. Um, I don't really have an opinion yet because... I have I have a, a strong suspicion that you're gonna see a lot of a lot of people uh, taking profit. Did I say Doge? I meant Hoge. Uh, I, you know you're gonna see a lot of people taking profits because it's gonna feel like such easy money for so long, especially at the beginning. For those that are getting in now, as uh, as we're able to buy tons of these coins for almost nothing, so I think you're gonna see it up. You know, very volatile for a little while, and and rightfully so. I understand that. I mean, it's it's it feels like easy money now. You know, there's so much risk, and nothing really is easy money. You have to be smart with your decisions. But the truth is, I really feel that the coin can approach a penny, like in the next couple of months, because that two percent burn and sharing happens every transaction. So if Right now, let, let's let's take a look at it so I don't misspeak. Uh, where can I find this? Let me see something. One second, ladies and gentlemen. Let me, I want to pull up these numbers so I don't misspeak because it changes so fast. That's kind of the thing, right? Okay, so right now... Right now, we are at... Uh, 421 billion remaining hoge coin okay 421 billion so that simply means at a 4 billion 4.2 billion dollar market cap we would be at one penny right that that's that's not i mean that's a lot of money i'm not saying it isn't but that there's a chance that can be reached you know with with a meme coin like this because it happened with doge coin Doge is at just under seven billion dollar market cap, and in this case, what I'm saying is because of the burn off. Like right now, it's at four four hundred twenty one billion, right? And uh, first Utopia with the five dollar super chat again. Any knowledge on Siacoin? Uh, not right now, my friend. I'll take a, I'll try. I'll pull it up in a second, and we can touch on it. But what I'm saying is, in two months, that four point two billion dollar market cap we need to reach a penny might be. Three billion dollar market cap to to reach a penny, you know, and where we would just need three billion is you know it'd be like there's to say there's three hundred billion coins in circulation at that point in two months, and then we would only need three billion dollar market cap, and then in in four or five months, what if the burn is down to two hundred billion coins left in circulation? Then you only need two billion dollars to reach a penny, and then there's so on and so forth. So, you know. It's very difficult for me to to say what's going to happen and how it's going to happen because it's it's been growing so so fast and really quickly. I want to show you guys an LA gamer with the five dollar super chat. I just bought a million hoge. I love the project. Thank you so much for introducing me to it. Absolutely, my friend. That's why I'm here. Um, I'm just trying to help. So look, um, let's pop on over to the display capture really quick because I want to point one thing out before before we get too far into discussion uh this display capture right here okay so take a look at this ladies and gentlemen this is the uh on etherscan look if you if you run the hoge coin hoge dot finance and click on tokens burn they'll bring you to this page is the etherscan information the actual transaction information and if you look right here let me refresh this i want everyone to see this this morning when i posted that video it was about i don't know around 6 a.m central time so it's been about what is that? Nine hours? The amount of holders, aka wallet creations, people that actually own wallets, I think was around 12,000. So in the last nine hours, we've, we've added uh, f about 4,500 wallets. That's in that's in less than half a day. We added 
almost 5,000 wallets. And if you look here, in the last 24 hours, 30% increase of token holders in, from the previous day. 30%, ladies and gentlemen, in a 24-hour span, wallet uh, uh, wallets being created. So while the coin is less than a month old, it really feels that right now the, the community is taking hold of it. People are finding out what it is, and people are, at, at you know, we do have some negative comments on the coin, but in my opinion, the risk versus reward is there, ladies and gentlemen. With that 2% burn and or sharing every transaction, that's just going to keep chipping away at that total circulating supply, which in turn, you know, that's deflation, which makes, makes the, co the coin more valuable. Um, you know, it's, it's just, it's a thing. It's a thing. Okay, so let me catch up on some of these... Uh, Mr. First Utopia wanted me to check on Sia coin, which I don't have a ton of information on, but I will go look at it. Okay. Let me go pull that up. Like I said, I'm not familiar with it, but I will pull it up uh, to be fair to everyone. Trying to uh, trying to find the uh, information on it. Oh, here we go. Okay, let me take a look at what that was. I don't want to miss anything. We got Miss Stephanie Deaton with the ten dollars super chat. Wow, very generous. Also, thanks for the timely news, barely to the moon. Thank you, very appreciative, very generous. Thank you, Miss Stephanie Deaton. And uh, First Utopia, thanks. Just an offshoot, so I appreciate the quick glance. Yeah, for sure. I'm, I'm pulling it up right now, my friend, and we will see what kind of uh, information we can share on SiaCoin. Uh, I just want to make sure I'm reading the right thing, because like I said, I'm not too familiar with it. I'm trying to find the official... What I'm pulling up is, uh, okay, um, what we got here, it says, Sia coin is a cryptocurrency that powers Sia, S-I-A. Sia is the first decentralized storage platform secured by blockchain technology. The Sia coin price page is part of the crypto, blah, blah, blah. Okay, hold on. I got to find it. So here it is, Sia.tech, it looks like is where it's at. If that's the case, let me, uh. Let me pop on over to display capture. It looks like Sia.tech. Decentralized storage for the post cloud world. Sia is the leading decentralized cloud storage platform. No signups, no servers, no trusted third parties. Sia leverages blockchain technology to create a data storage marketplace that is more robust and more affordable than traditional cloud storage providers. Okay. They seem to have uh, some activity in the States and in Europe. A little bit spread out of the areas. Completely private. Sia encrypts and distributes your files across a decentralized network. You control your private encryption keys and your own data. No outside company or third party can access, control your files. Uh, let's see. Open source, highly redundant marketplace on a blockchain. Yeah, this looks this looks not like a really nice project. Definitely going to have its place. Like I said, I have to do more research on it to get some more technicals and more details, but it looks like a project that'll definitely have a place in the blockchain. I don't have any price analysis, unfortunately, because I'm just not that familiar with it, but thank you for bringing it to my attention and I will check it out. And uh, let me just make sure. Miss Deaton again with the $10 super chat. And okay, yeah, so we kind of caught up. Let me just scroll back on chat and see if I can catch up on anything that any questions that I may be able to answer. And First Utopia, once again, no problem. Thanks. Great. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Why did I take off my live? Uh, I'm missing something here. I'm missing my viewer count. Where is it?
Where is my view account, y'all? Did I move it by accident? Oops. Something's wrong with the view account. That's so weird. Let me try and redo it. I don't know what's up with that. It's not working. It's just straight up not working. That's great. Anyway, don't know why, but I'm not going to cry about it. That's super odd. Okay, so if your account's not working right now, must be some kind of... Oh man, you know what? A lot's not working. The event list isn't working either. Let me try and reset something. That's very strange, you guys, seriously. I don't know why it's doing that. Normally we have an event list at the top of the page and uh and my view account. So I don't know what the hell is going on. Of course. Streamlabs and YouTube weirdness going on like it always does. Here to make here to make my life difficult. Anyway, okay, so that's just not working right now. I guess we'll just deal with it. Let's see. Uh, as you can see, on, at least the timer's working. Uh, on the screen, we have one hour and six minutes remaining for everyone to enter the contest right now. We are currently giving away 1,500 Doge coins. As you can see in chat, all you need to do is type exclamation mark Doge, exclamation mark Doge, and the chat bot will notify you that you've been entered into the contest. You can only enter once and you must be a subscriber. So don't forget to like and subscribe, ladies and gentlemen, as that is how you enter the contest. At the end of the one hour and five minute remaining runtime, the chat bot will randomly select the winner and notify the chat. And of course, whoever wins, please make sure to have your Dogecoin deposit address ready as that is how I will send you your Dogecoin. And that's it. We keep things very simple here. I just don't know why Streamlabs is not, uh, the viewer thing is not working and my kind of bugging out. Maybe if I leave this page and come back, let me try that. Especially since we didn't have a coin market cap recap yet, huh, ladies and gentlemen? So we can do that. This is the Braille Assassin daily coin market cap recap. As you can see here, the entire market cap of the entire crypto space is currently sitting at $1,700,000,000,000. Bitcoin in first place at $1,054,000,000 and the coin sitting comfortably at $56,549. Number two on the list is Ethereum at $1,748. Binance coin in the number three spot at $261. Tether, the dollar coin in the number four spot. Cardano down to number five at $1.04. Polkadot in the number six spot at $34.96. XRP at $0.44. Cents. Uniswap at $30.35, Litecoin at $219, and my number two favorite long-term investment in all of the crypto space is Chainlink at $28.21. Moving down, uh, the ever-popular Dogecoin sitting in the number 15 spot at uh, $0.5.5. Cents. Theta, number 16 at $6.48, seeing a lot of movement in the last seven days. We have VeChain, my favorite long-term investment in, in all of the crypto space, holding down the number 20 spot at six and a half cents. And ch ch Chili's, or Chili's, however you pronounce it, uh, up to number 21 with gigantic increase on the seven day, 559%, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations to anyone that was invested in Chili's in the last few days. 
And uh, moving down, we got Tron at 4.9 cents. And uh, the graph is all the way down to 47. I actually sold my graph yesterday, ladies and gentlemen, to move into Hogecoin. So, uh, so far, so good. But, uh, and we have uh, Matic, uh, well, formerly Matic, now Polygon at number 48, up 87% on the seven day as it was recently added to Coinbase. And that's the Bradley Assassins on market cap recap. And nope, it looks like the viewer count and the, uh, now nothing's working. Now the chat's not working either. All right. Let me, and even re-adding them didn't seem to help. Wow. This is super crappy. There must be problems at Streamlabs right now, ladies and gentlemen. Must be problems at Streamlabs. Okay, we got it back. I just need to redo them. Let me start redoing them. I love redoing stuff. We'll get it. I ain't crying. I'm just trying. Yeah, I think that they didn't feed their hamster. So they're forcing me to redo everything. Let's see, I got to pull off the event list and make a new one. We'll get it. That's the first time we really have problems while streaming. I've lost my, they've, they've deleted all my settings before, but, uh, oh, well, th this isn't working. Let me see. But it, it was off stream when that happened. Okay, so that's not working. Let me try a new chat box. Can't believe they're doing this to me on our giveaway day, y'all. On the giveaway day. Nope, chat box still not working either. It, it, it must be some Streamlabs issues. Because a little while ago, the, uh, the, the viewer count wasn't working and now it is. So let me, uh, let's just give it a minute and I'll keep adding it and taking it away until we get it. So when we go back and watch this stream later, we'll be like, what's going on? But it's just because technical issues. Frank's Kitchen says, do you think Hoge could reach a dollar if all the coins keep burning like crazy? And does Hoge have any purpose? It the, the, the purpose of Hoge, it seems to be strictly like financial, like DeFi kind of stuff, like swap. It, that, that's really what it seems to be to take advantage of yields and, you know, uh, and what's and, and strict burn kind of stuff. So uh, it not being having, you know, it does have NFTs on it and it does have like they're building some games on it or something like that. Um, so it's, it's trying to take advantage of those types of things. But, you know, ultimately, the more it's used, the more it's going to get burned and the more valuable the coins will be. So it's kind of up to the community how much they want to continue using it and whatnot. So uh, it's 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 a question mark. It's certainly a question mark. I have to admit. I'm continually trying to fix this, ladies and gentlemen, but we will try and answer some questions in the meantime. Chris Stevens says, hey, Bradley, I would have been here earlier because I had to watch a 30 minute video to get in. I had to watch a 30 minute video to get in. Not sure what you mean by that, Mr. Chris Stevens, but I'm glad you're here. The viral headquarters says another donation scam. You should never have to donate anything in order to win anything. Uh, I hope you're not referring to this channel, the Viral Headquarters, because uh, we certainly don't expect anything from anyone. It's completely free to enter. And once again, let me try and add the uh, 
these broken sources. So strange that they decided to break while streaming. And Mr. Tu Young says, uh, insight on Matic and Litecoin. Thanks for everything you do, man. Thanks for Baton Rouge. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate it. And I apologize for these technical difficulties with my chat box and uh, the event list. I'm, I'm trying to fix them as we go, but they're just acting really weird. But anyway, um, yeah, so Matic, uh, I'm really bullish on Matic. In fact, I've mentioned a few times on the stream over the last couple of weeks that once I had finished my bags of VeChain, my next uh, investment targets were uh, Theta and Matic. And of course, uh, Theta goes crazy and then Matic gets listed on uh, Coinbase and it pumped significantly. So my entry points were kind of messed up and I'm gonna, it's going to be a while before I can get into them. Uh, Litecoin, I don't have a ton of information on Litecoin other than the fact that because of its PayPal partnerships and stuff like that going on, that uh, it, it definitely looks like Litecoin is going to have a fantastic future. And I know there's a lot of uh, investment firms and big money that's that's moving uh, into Litecoin. So uh, that obviously will help the bottom line in their market cap. Both coins, amazing projects. Matic is gonna is gonna be very needed. Uh, it, it, it's not a project that that are, you know companies or blockchain projects are looking at like man this would be nice. It's something that has to happen, especially with Ethereum. They need that layer two to come in to be able to find a way to uh, significantly reduce those gas fees because if not people are going to get very discouraged with ethereum really quickly so uh matic is, is going to be around for a while and it's going to be uh, adopted by a lot of the major blockchain projects so uh both coins look very good in my opinion dent coin i'm not familiar with unfortunately my friend Let me try to add these things again. I don't know why this is not working. It's so stupid. Just waiting patiently for whatever's broken to start working again. Uh, let's see. But anyway, 55 minutes left remaining on the entry time for the contest, ladies and gentlemen. If you'd like a chance to win 1,500 free, com completely free Dogecoin, simply type exclamation Doge, exclamation mark Doge, and the chat bot will automatically enter you in the contest. The only things you need to be is uh, we'd appreciate it if you like the stream and you must be a subscriber. So make sure you click subscribe. And when you do click subscribe, turn notifications on. That way, you know, every time we go live here at the Bradley Assassin YouTube channel and you don't miss your chance on free giveaways and or your chance to vote on what you'd like me to give away as a prize. Every Monday during our live streams, people gather here and vote on what they would like me to give away for the uh, upcoming giveaways. So you want to make sure you're here for those two so you can you can have some input on what we give away. In fact, for those that aren't familiar with the stream as your first time here, we have uh, officially given away over 2,000 Dogecoin here on the channel. We've given away 100 ADA. We've given away a Bradley Assassin Gator style face mask. We've given away a Bradley Assassin hoodie. Uh, we, we do a lot of things here. So, uh, so if you guys want to subscribe, make a note to keep checking in. And on Mondays, you can come in and vote on what you'd like me to give away. Uh, someone uh, monster art asking about bitcoin giveaway bitcoin was one of the options for the giveaway today but the community chose dogecoin instead so we are officially giving away dogecoin today luna uh i do not have an opinion on luna right now my friend i'd have to do some more research on it Sean Schaefer says, my co-worker co bought $150 worth of Ethereum trying to buy Hoge today. Gas fee this morning, $75 gas fee on our lunch break. $135, he's barely able to buy. That's crazy. Yeah, and it's uh probably has a lot to do with Hoge too. So uh, you can either wait till the network is uh, not as busy or just buy a ton of it at one time, which is what I did. That way it kind of offsets the uh, the fees. But 
I know not everyone's in position to do that as uh, what I did. I sold all of my the graph to move into Hoge uh, to see, you know, take a take a little gamble on it. But but yeah. Uh, yeah, gas fees on Ethereum right now are stupid and it's uh, it can be difficult at certain times, peak peak times on the network. Let's go take another look over here, you guys. I want to take a quick look at something. It looks like we have, uh, let's see, where is the actual, here we go. Let's take a quick look at this, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to show you guys a little update on Hogecoin. As you can see here, uh, the amount of wallets is now up to 16,586. That is a 30% increase in the last 24 hours of people actually holding Hogecoin. Very, very interesting stuff. And then, of course, the uh, circulating supply right now down to 421 billion. And the price sitting at 0.00058279.3. Just a little brief Hogecoin update while we are counting down for the completely free Dogecoin giveaway. All right, let's see. I got some news for everyone. I guess we can start going over that since we are uh, a good bit into the giveaway, almost halfway through the giveaway uh, entry time. And we will do that. Let's pop on over to display capture and take a look here. And as you can see, we got some VChain news for everybody. We have here uh, VChain. This is from Mr. Akash Duramath, once again from... Uh, fxstreet.com and it reads VeChain price has been on a tear surging 100% in under 11 days momentum reversal indicators MRI breakout level stands between VeChain's last leg up a correction will come into the picture if the demand barrier at 6.1 cents is taken down it says VeChain price shows an overwhelming bullish momentum that pushed it by more than 100% in under two weeks now VeChain could surge another 13% if a critical level is breached and coming down a little bit, it says after hitting a local bottom on February 28th, VeChain price initiated a 130% bull run to 8.3 cents. That is still underway at the time of writing. This is just a gentleman that likes to touch on the technicals and graph analysis, but uh, just claiming that we're still on the up and up with VeChain. A little bit of Chainlink news here it says a uh, Chainlink set to surge on release of dynamic NFTs says crypto trader Tyler Swope. So this is from a specific uh, crypto trader, but uh, this reads crypto analyst and trader Tyler Swope is placing Chainlink in the spotlight as the Oracle project prepares to dive headfirst into the non fungible token space. And again, you know, just more uh, positive outlook for Chainlink moving into the NFT space. And thirdly, we got a little bit of Hoge news that I pulled up today. Kind of hard to find uh, Hoge news because uh, quality shots. Let me see if I can find him real quick, ladies and gentlemen. Got idiots in here. I'm trying to give, I'm trying to give stuff away. You got idiots that come ruin it for everybody. Let's see if I can find him. Uh, Quality shots. See, they do something where I can't find them. Oh, I see you timed them out. Okay, I have to have his name available for me to do something to it. If I see him again, I'll, I'll get him. Okay, anyway, moving on. Uh, display capture. Okay, so finding Hoja news is kind of difficult because it's so new and there's just... 
not everyone's aware of it, but I did find a little bit today. And it says, Hoge Finance and Meme Price. All coins break out as fundamentals turn bullish. And as you can see, it says the global cryptocurrency market offers an effective platform for the emerging and new established currencies. As the market is vast and volatile, many currents are listed. I mean, many currencies are listed every day. Hoge and Meme are the new entrants into the market among the listed currencies. Hoge obtained over 130% impulse in the past 24 hours and Meme gained 30% over the past 24 hours. The other altcoins like Ring, STMX, and Hard have also achieved up of 30% momentum in the last 24 hours. And it's got some Hoge price analysis here. See, as Hoge made its existence in the crypto market on February 15th, 2021, so less than a month ago, with an exchange value of 0 0.000001. <laughs> as the new entrant in the market, it failed to get recognized and continued to trade at the same price range. Later, the currency enticed upwards and dramatically hit the 0 0.0003 mark in March. Hoge currently enduring the, the bullish run as it achieved over 140% impulse in the last 24 hours and also registered new all-time high by spiking to 0.004 on March 12th before the price boosting to 0 0.004, 0 0.004 Hoge exchanged to 0 0.001. And for those that follow the stream know that when I reported on it this morning it was around 0 0.0004. We got upwards of 0 0.0007 and are right now sitting at uh about 0 0.0058 just under 0 0.0006 so that's the news i have for hoge and moving on check this out ladies and gentlemen you know that we follow uh micro strategy and uh mr michael saylor here but this is today it says forget buying the dip micro strategy buys 15 million dollars of bitcoin as it nears the all-time high it says this latest purchase brings the firm's total bitcoin holdings to around 91,326 bitcoins bought for an average price of 24,214 dollars a piece so uh again they bought some more bitcoin again today there it seems like they're buying bitcoin in at the 10 and 15 million dollar mark every other day very impressive and that's where we are with the news, ladies and gentlemen. Let me try one more time to add our broken event list and stuff. Oh, there we go. They fixed it. Yeah, it was just it was just down. It was like broken. So let me add this so that everyone can get the notor the notoriety they deserve for being incredibly kind in uh donating. And let's see if we can get the uh Let's see if I can get the uh, chat box to start working again. And chat box is officially back and working, ladies and gentlemen. I will try and get that on screen for everybody. Crazy that it was broken. Only thing I don't like is it's grayed out now. I have to try and fix that. That's very strange, but it's working again. Just let me try and uh, get this straight, ladies and gentlemen. That doesn't look too bad, does it? Okay, now we now we got it going. That was strange. Okay, let me catch up. Well, we have 43 minutes remaining in the uh, entry time, ladies and gentlemen, for the completely free Dogecoin giveaway today. We will be giving away 1,500 Dogecoins to one lucky subscriber. Uh, please like uh, like the stream. All you have to do is uh, to be eligible is be a subscriber. You must be a subscriber. Don't forget when you do subscribe, turn notifications on to all that way you know every time we go live uh that way you know 
uh, every time we have giveaways like this and every Monday hop into our live streams and you can vote on what prize you'd like me to give away during our giveaways. Yes, and make sure uh, you have a Dogecoin wallet available in case you do win. That way uh, we don't run into any problems if your name is selected whenever the chat bot randomly selects the winner. To enter the contest, you simply have to type exclamation mark Doge, exclamation mark Doge, and the chat bot will, will enter you into the contest as uh, the chat bot is completely automated and it takes care of everything. That way there are no favorites and uh, no shenanigans can be can be pulled, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Looks like the market's climbing back a little bit. And we can take a look at Hogecoin again real quick. There ain't much graphics going on with Hogecoin, but I do have a little bit for everybody. This is all we got going on for Dogecoin right now. I mean Hogecoin because the coin is so new. It's not listed on a ton of exchanges and it's not being traded on a ton of exchanges. So I don't have a lot of graph analysis and stuff that I can normally put up, uh, especially the coins less than a month old, ladies and gentlemen. But we are approaching the 0 .0006 mark, 6 mark once again for those that uh, do monitor uh, Hogecoin and are interested in Hogecoin. And we'll hop back to the mainstream, so I try not to miss any chat. Now that we got our, our event list working again and chat working again, I feel a little bit better. I've been messing with that since the damn stream started. For those that are not familiar on what Hogecoin is or not sure how to purchase Hogecoin, I have a, uh, a Hogecoin video on the Bradley Assassin YouTube channel that you can go watch at any time. It explains what the coin is and explains uh, in detail how to purchase it. If you're interested in entering the contest for the completely free Dogecoin, you simply need to type exclamation mark Doge. Triple checking all the news outlets in case we get any breaking news while we stream. What price will Hoge get to in five to ten years? I don't know. You tell me, my friend. What will it get to in five to ten years? Let's see what you think. What's my take on day traders on VeChain? Everyone, there's there's going to be millions of people that day trade and take profits and stuff like that. It's very normal. You simply just have to ride the wave. If if it's a coin you're invested in for long term, uh, sometimes you know it's best not to even monitor these these peaks and valleys and and dips and corrections and stuff like that. I personally am holding VeChain for long term. And when I say long term, I mean two or three years at least. Uh, but I do like to monitor it. It gives me a lot to talk about. And, and I can bring some uh, some awareness to the community by, by running these streams and posting videos. Mr. Toth says, I strongly suggest you dig into what time of day and what day Ethereum gas fees are lowest. It's 100% valuable information for the community. I, I can do that, my friend. Um, I can do that. Like I said, I usually buy large uh, quantities at a time. And the gas fees 
are negligible to me, but I can understand if you're buying a lot, small amounts very often, it can be ridiculous and almost not worth it. So uh, I'll start monitoring what I uh, what I pay when I pay it and see if I can maybe find a, a good time of day because I only sleep about four hours a day and I do a lot of activity in the early morning US hours. So, uh, so maybe it's just not affecting me as much as most. Okay, let's see. Why is all this coming through now? You see, I'm telling y'all. See, see what happened with Streamlabs? You see how all these things are coming through now? They had something going on with their server. Uh, and it, and it, was all, it all got messed up and now it's coming through. But the most recent super chat here is a Mr. Young saying, uh, can you make sure I'm in? Yeah, I can check on you, my friend. But if you type exclamation doge and you don't get a notification, it means you're in. But I can certainly check. Actually, it's not even letting me in now because because of the Streamlab problems, it's not loading my chat bot, my cloud bot. So, uh, okay, now it is. Yeah, there's some Streamlab problems going on, but it is working fine because we have. Uh, let me see. Let me compare it to the stream. Yeah, we have 36 minutes remaining, and I can show everyone so that everyone can uh, have peace of mind. Um, let's see here. I gotta turn off this alert box, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry. For a second, till, till Streamlabs catches up. But let me show everyone with display capture what I'm talking about. As you can see here, uh, this is the official timer and CloudBot setup. We have um, 30, a little under 36 minutes remaining. As you can see, we have 355 entries. And these are all the entries here. Uh, they go in order of when you uh, registered. So you see right here, Mr. Young, you are officially entered. And it works. It works perfectly. Everyone's entered 350 something entries. That's a lot. That's really good. Very positive. Um, my only concern is that there are only 243 people watching the stream. So that means that there's a chance some winners that are picked will not be here. And as, as uh, everyone knows, you must be here and available to receive the prize if you are not when your name is chosen we will pick someone else uh mr wayne mayfield says i just want to say i'm a normal joe fell across this channel and let me tell you uh, look more into crypto as an investment since a whole doge fee chain and a few others thank you my friend appreciate the kind words yep that's what we do here we share information we are trying to help ourselves to make better investment decisions uh i'm always trying to bring the latest news on the coins we follow uh doing everything we can uh and then as the channel grows the better it gets for everyone in the community as that allows us to do giveaways and that sort of stuff so uh, don't forget to like and subscribe we, we we did pick up some subs today, so uh, so there is a lot of participation, and we're thankful for that. Uh, Thirty four minutes remaining to enter the contest, ladies and gentlemen. If you would like to enter, simply type exclamation mark Doge, and the chat bot will enter you into the contest. You have thirty four minutes remaining, and at the end of the runtime, the chat bot will automatically and randomly select the winner. And Miss Stephanie Deaton with the five dollar super chat once more. Thank you. Uh, please do not accuse this as a scam. No one is asking for your info. Welcome to the yeah for sure. This is uh, the furthest thing from a from a scam. Uh, I don't want anything from you. All, all that I ask is that you or you do subscribe to the Bradley Assassin YouTube channel, which obviously is completely free. Um, and like I said, you, you type exclamation mark Doge to enter the completely free contest. Whoever wins, I get their deposit address and I send them Dogecoin. That's all there is to it. Uh, we've been around, uh, I've been streaming for over a year. Uh, I primarily streamed on Twitch network, but uh, a little over a month ago, 
well, about a month and a half ago, I switched over to YouTube and focused on cryptocurrency. So uh, I have been around a while. Uh, if you'd like to go do some research on me, you can see that I have been around a while and by no means is this a scam in any way. I'm just trying to pay back the community for the, all the support they show the Bradley Assassin live stream and the Bradley Assassin YouTube channel. But it's okay to be skeptical, but this is not one of those scam type things. This is 100% me just being thankful that the community shows so much enthusiasm and participation in these live streams. Uh, Mr. Jeremiah Putman, when will I be calling out the winner? You see that timer on the screen, my friend? The 32-minute timer? Uh, that is how much time is left for people to enter the contest. Uh, I give a full hour and a half for people to be aware that the live stream is running and time for everyone to come and enter. And as soon as that clock runs out, uh, the chat bot will randomly select the winner. And you, if you like the stream, I'd appreciate it, but you must be a subscriber. And that's it. We, uh, there will be one winner. One person gets 1,500 Dogecoin today. Here on the Bradley Assassin YouTube channel, we have already given away, uh, in previous giveaways, over 2,000 Dogecoin, over 100 ADA, uh, Bradley Assassin style gator face mask, Bradley Assassin hoodies. Well, we give away tons of stuff here on the Bradley Assassin live stream. So the, the, the more subscribers we have and the more popular the channel becomes, the bigger and better prizes we get. And perhaps more often we can have giveaways. So tell your friends, make sure you sub, and uh, we appreciate the, the participation, everybody. Where does the name Bradley Assassin come from? Well, I own a couple bakeries in South Louisiana. I've been in the bakery business my whole life. Uh, we make one of my locations makes wholesale bread for local restaurants. And the second is a full scale retail bakery where we do cakes, pies, donuts, uh, cupcakes, cookies, everything. And uh, I've been a gamer for a long time. I've been uh, playing Magic the Gathering uh, competitively since 1994. And, uh, so my, um, my logo is kind of a, a blend of bread making and, uh, like I love fantasy role playing type games. It's got some magic colored elements in there. Uh, and then the Bradley assassin is just a play on words with the deadly assassin. Uh, so it's kind of a mixture of everything I'm involved in. And if you guys would like to see that didn't notice, let me blow up my, uh, my animated logo so you can get a better look and might explain a little bit better. As you can see here, there's nunchucks, a loaves of bread. He's got a loaf of bread hip pack and a loaf of bread backpack with uh, some elemental colors of the uh, fire, water, and earth. And just kind of a mix of everything. And now the Bradley Assassin can mean bread as in money with the, with the finance. Just a little bit of everything mixed into my logo and animations and all that kind of stuff. Am I in any restaurants in NOLA? No, said Bon. I, I tried to be. Uh, a couple years ago when I uh, you know, had a major bakery out there closed down, I pushed really hard to get into New Orleans. But uh, one thing I learned pretty quickly about the New Orleans uh, food industry, you guys do not like change. Uh, we have been in business since 1888 and have been a father-son bakery ever since. And... Uh, we're very notable and prominent here in the Acadiana area, but New Orleans does not like change. Regardless of my award-winning bread and have been in business for 134 years, they were still not giving in as they, uh, that's, not, that's not what they want. Pretty, pretty, pretty substantial over there. Okay, let's see. I need to move my event list below. Oh, that should be fine. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, 20, uh, just under 29 minutes remaining in the uh, entry time for the contest. You simply need to enter exclamation mark doge and the chat bot will automatically enter you into the contest. At the end of that timer runtime you see on the screen, the chat bot will automatically and randomly put, select a winner. 
Uh, you must be a subscriber. If you, your name is chosen and you are not a subscriber, I will choose someone else. Secondly, you need to be here, obviously. And uh, please have a Dogecoin wallet readily available in case you do win. It makes the transaction a lot simpler. Thank you. And we don't discuss, we don't get into a super amount of detail on the giveaway days because there's a there's a lot to, that's going on and a lot to make sure that has to go right and, and that kind of thing. So I don't want ever, the people that are new here don't think that uh, we, we normally run this way because uh, cause we do stream almost every day here at the Barely Assassin live stream where we do get into some pretty detailed discussion on all kinds of different cryptocurrencies. Uh, but, but giveaway days are a little more relaxed as a... Uh, we're focused on make, making sure the giveaways go off without a hitch because uh, you'd be surprised at, at what can go wrong. Uh, evident by today, uh, Streamlabs giving me problems with my chat box and all that kind of weird stuff. So just, uh, just fun times, fun times here. But we getting it. We will officially get it. Good times. Okay, let me see if I can catch up on some chat. It's moving pretty quickly. Yes, if you type exclamation doge and Streamlabs will give you a notification that you've been entered. If you type it a second time, you will not receive a notification because it simply means you are entered already. And that's how it works. Yeah, we have a hundred. Uh, well, I got 242 likes on my screen. Uh, might have to refresh there, Mr. Ronnie McCluskey. But thanks for, thanks for keeping an eye on that for me, man. That's cool. That, that, that's how it works here. Everybody's got each other's back. You know, the goal is to, to like and subscribe. Turn notifications on so you don't miss the giveaway. So you don't miss voting on what you want me to give away. So you don't miss on the, all the important stuff we discuss on the live streams and so you don't miss whenever I upload a video such as this morning when I uploaded the Hoge, the uh, Hoge Finance uh, video there were a lot of people that weren't familiar with that coin got moved into it r relatively quickly and I've heard some people in chat tell me that today they almost doubled their their money right away today in a day now does it always work that way no when things can change in a heartbeat because uh, because that's the way the crypto space works uh, I'm not affiliated with any of these coins in any way. I am invested in some of them, but uh, please do your own research and see if it's something you'd be interested in investing in. I'm simply here to bring the information to everyone, you know, let you guys know what I'm invested in. And uh, I have been in the crypto space for over three years. I've been, uh, I've been mining for over three years. By the way, we do have an upcoming uh, mining video series here in the Bradley Assassin live stream. I'm simply waiting for all my my new product to come in so that I can review the product as it comes in. As I am working on a sponsor slash partnership with a company, uh, I'm going to review some items for them. If they like what they see, then they they will consider sponsoring me. That way I can bring the community some savings whenever we start getting into the specific hardware mining discussions. That's all coming. There's tons of stuff coming. We do crazy stuff like that all the time. And sometimes, depending on the mood I'm in, I bust out in the song, but that's for another day. These giveaways are a little hectic for me. I like to, I'm worried that uh, something slips up and we miss something, but long story short, we do a lot here. Uh, Trini Trinis, do I invest for NFTs? Uh, like Chiz, man, uh, Chili's, man. Uh, I, I don't currently because honestly, it just kind of happened so fast. Like we had so much information to convey to everyone about the coins we normally follow. And, and I, I spent a lot of time working on the channel and, and they were just exploding and going up so fast. I pretty much kind of missed them. The NFT thing took a little while to wrap my head around. We discussed that a lot here on the barely assassin channel, um, as to what it is and, and can it stay? What will that last? So I didn't personally invest in it. So I missed those big gains, but, uh, but like I said, I did move into perks and I did move into Hoge coin. So uh, those are looking promising and they, they, they keep my attention, you know. 
And welcome back, Mr. Modern Prometheus with the $5 Super Chat. Says, hello, sir. Glad to see you again. Only bad thing about Hoge is that the gas fees are really high. Yes, they are, especially today. That was brought to my attention. I, perp you know, because of my work schedule and because I don't really sleep uh, but four hours a day, uh, I do a lot of my research and investigating. And when I do decide to make trades, it's usually early morning, like four or five in the morning, U.S. time. And while they're all, the fees are still there, they're nowhere near as high as what you guys were telling me y'all were seeing today. So it was suggested to me by, I think, uh, Mr. Toth that I might need to do some research on maybe when are good days and good times to avoid high gas fees, you know, like when there's not peak transaction time on the Ethereum network. Um, so I can start m marking that down and keeping an eye on for that for everybody. That might be a, a good little charting system that, you know, it's it's not information isn't really widely known uh, that would be that'd be good to have as a resource here on the bradley assassin youtube channel so i'm going to try and look into that uh, over the next few days the bradley medley <laughs> i like it 22 minutes remaining ladies and gentlemen if you're not entered into the contest yet simply type exclamation mark doge exclamation mark doge and the chat bot will notify you that you have been entered uh, let's see what else we got here how long do I think it will take for hoge to reach a dollar uh, I don't know if it's ever going to reach a dollar my friend if it does it's going to be after the supply has been really, really blasted away, has, you know, been uh, shared, so to speak, and, and the burn off has taken place, you know, because to, to approach a dollar right now, I mean, uh, we have 420 billion coins remaining in circulation. It's a $420 billion market cap. That's not going to happen anytime soon. So uh, you're going to need the... Uh, you're going to need that, that, that circulating supply to keep getting chewed up. And it's happening very, very fast well, because of the 2% burns and sharing every time a transaction is made or a swap is made. So uh, we just need it to keep happening. And, and if, if the coin can keep interest and keep, if people keep using it and trading it and buying it and selling it, uh, the, the circulating supply will go down. And that ultimately will uh, you know, cause supply and demand to kick in and the coin should increase in value. But... Uh, we just need to monitor and hope that it keeps happening. We're, we're, we're basically, we're hoping for it to get to a penny. Honestly, if it gets to a penny, that is some massive percentage gains. Massive percentage gains. So look at it that way. And I believe it can get to a penny. I believe it can. Uh, which exchanges are selling Hoge? Uh, I could pull that up for you. I might still have that graphic from my video that I made this morning. Let me see if I can find that for you guys. Yep, still got it. This is from a video I pulled off the video I made this morning for everyone. Um, as you can see here, uh, these are the current exchanges that I am aware of. Uh, now, keep in mind that they were they they did just pass their audit. Uh, on the 10th two days ago so uh, since the audit I think they've added one inch exchange or I should say one inch one inch exchange added hoge uh, but there are going to be plenty more to come probably uh, now since they've passed the audit with flying colors uh, as that's the most important part that the way it shows uh, that the coin is uh, reputable and can be trusted and that sort of thing once once passing the audit so audit just got, took you know, what was uh, cleared two days ago and uh, one inch exchange has added it. But you can see here that Balaxi uh, or Bilaxi, whatever it's called, um, white bit is it and uh, Uniswap. And I personally used Uniswap. A little bit of information there. And uh, let's see.
I got you, Mr. Stephen Toth. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll look into it and see and try and translate it into as simple as like these times are cheapest kind of things, you know, and like uh, that's all we really need to know, even myself, right? So yeah, I'll look into it some more. That's a good call. I didn't even, like I said, when, when I make coin purchases and stuff like that, I, I, I buy large chunks and like the, the gas fees are kind of negligible to me because uh, I don't move my coins a lot. But I can understand in a lot of situations where people are just trying to put like a hundred bucks in at a time or whatever they have that, I mean, a $50, $60 gas fee is just retarded. So uh, pardon my French. So yeah, I get it. We got, we're going to look into that. Did uh, Mr. Zafar says, uh, did I see Musk's tweet about Bitcoin? I did, but his stuff's so, let me, let me pull it up on my Twitter. His stuff's so all over the place sometimes. If it's not very direct, I've, I've kind of started like, I love the man and he's done a lot for the, the Dogecoin movement, but uh, I don't know sometimes, but we could take a look at it, ladies and gentlemen, that's for sure. As you can see here, Mr. Elon Musk three hours ago says Bitcoin is an anagram of TBC, the boring company. What a coincidence. And then he says uh, both do mining of uh, the boring company. Uh, he says both do mining and use blocks and chains. <laughs> you see what I mean? Like uh, a comment like that makes me I'm, I'm about 90 percent sure he was high when he posted that. <laughs> uh, right. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> okay let's take a quick look at Hogecoin right now see if what kind of movement we got on the price and uh, we are down a little bit to uh, 5.2 as I call it or 5213 whatever you want to call it that, that's what happens with this coin man you have, you have gigantic sell offs gigantic purchases so it bounces around all day but, uh, but still looking very very positive Overall, straight gains, y'all. He's hanging around Joe Rogan too much. Probably so. Those guys, those guys celebrate. <laughs> I guess I would be too, man. What's the, uh, from, whoa, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that, but he's asking, what's the best crypto to surf right now? Well, if you're looking for a coin that's got a ton of information with amazing fundamentals and uh, amazing partnerships that looks amazing long term, and there's a lot of information on it right now, it's VeChain. Uh, I personally am invested in VeChain for the long term, as I think in two or three years, it's going to be uh, a world beater, so to speak. And uh, there's there's a lot of information you can dig up. You can spend weeks researching VeChain. But I do I, I am uh, bullish on Cardano as well for long term. Uh, Dogecoin I love for the movement and and the what it's doing for the people and the chance to give everyone their own their alternate currency. I love the the support from the uh, celebrities and the influencers and the media and everything. And then, of course, I'm also invested now in Hogecoin because it seems to be something that can r run away really quickly. And uh, I'm also invested in a coin called uh, Perex, P-E-R-X, as a, it's a, another exchange type uh, blockchain project that is uh, relatively new and it has a really nice roadmap for the next couple quarters. So by the end of the year, there's a chance we can see some positive activity on that. And the coin itself is, is very inexpensive also. Can I suggest the best wallet to store crypto? Well, there's not really one overall best wallet, my friend. It depends on what crypto you have and what you want to do with it. For instance, myself, I store my VeChain on the Exodus wallet simply because uh, it starts staking automatically. You don't have to do anything special. And uh, if you own VeChain and are staking it technically, you produce uh, VThor coins for free. Uh, I, I hold my ADA my Cardano on KuCoin as I stake it there. And then I, I typically keep my Bitcoin and Ethereum in cold wallets. And if you're interested in cold wallets, uh, I do have a uh, cold wallet link, suggestion link in my description. 
So it's an Amazon link. It's on sale right now. It's the Legend Nano S. It's one of the ones that's been around been around a while, one of the more popular ones. So it really depends on what crypto you 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 have and what you're trying to store. Uh, I I like staking my coins that allow me to stake because I like the rewards and the benefits. And like I said, I don't move my coins around a whole lot. It's more of like a long term investment thing for me. So I have no problems putting them in there and just leaving them. And we have 13 minutes remaining, ladies and gentlemen, on the entry time for the 1,500 Dogecoin giveaway. The, you simply need to type exclamation mark Doge to enter. And at the end of the, the 12 and that, well, just under 13 minute runtime, you see on the screen, the chat bot will close the entry time, entry giveaways, and uh, we will, the chat bot will randomly select the winner. So uh, you must be a subscriber. If your name is chosen and you're not subscribed to the Bradley Assassin YouTube channel, I will choose someone else. And also, uh, it'd be nice if you are, you have your Dogecoin deposit address already uh, handily available, as it'll help the tran the transaction process time uh, exponentially. But remember, if your name is chosen and you're not a subscriber, I will choose someone else. That's the only thing I ask. It's completely free to subscribe. That's the only thing I ask. I need the likes and the subs and the views. So the channel can continue to grow so we can keep doing giveaways. It seems like a pretty fair uh, request. So please keep that in mind, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, look at that spike on Dogecoin, you guys. Somebody just bought a lot. And then here it comes back down. <laughs> oh, crypto. How you tease me so. Oh, crypto. Let's see what we got going on in chat again. I'd like to thank everybody for all the likes and subs. I see the participation level is on par today. For those that are new to the channel, uh, we do have live streams practically every day here at the Bradley Assassin YouTube channel where we discuss all things crypto. So if uh, you're looking for a place to, to come in the chat and do some question and answer and stuff like that, we, uh, we do that. We do that here. Mr. Lewis, uh, Luis, how far do we think Doge will go this year? We've touched on that a lot here at the Barely Assassin uh, YouTube channel. Uh, I thought that uh, it'd be possible for Dogecoin to get to 20 to 25 cents at some point this year. And uh, by the end of 2022, if everything continues to go right, I can see uh, some peaks of around 35 to 40 cents. A lot of people are predicting and hoping for a dollar, especially with all the Mark Cuban uh, influential talk lately. Uh, and I mean, it's very possible. Anything's possible. It's just uh, based on the circulating supply and market cap and stuff like that. Uh, those are the numbers that I'm comfortable uh, suggesting or at least giving my opinion on. Uh, what about Chainlink? Yes, Chainlink is my number two favorite long-term investment in the entire crypto space. <clears throat> uh, Chainlink is very important. Let, let's take a look at the Chainlink right now. We haven't looked at it yet today. As you can see here, Chainlink sitting at $28.45. Down on the 24, but up on, on the 7, 30, 90, and a year. Chainlink is incredibly important as uh, Chainlink uses their oracles to bring real world information and real world real world data into smart contracts. So this is basically what makes DeFi work. And uh, so all these DeFi projects that are blowing up and, and all the NFT stuff and all this stuff, they all need Chainlink's not the only one that does it, but they're far and away the front runners in the, in the space. Not to mention just a couple of weeks ago, they introduced their off chain uh, upgrade that's going to make processing 10 times faster and crazy stuff. So everyone that that's anyone's going to be using Chainlink in, if now and in the future. And with all the DeFi stuff exploding, they all have to have Oracle's bringing that real world data into the fine, into their smart contracts so that they can process the financial information down to the second. So Chainlink's going to be involved in all these projects 
for the long haul. And uh, that's what makes Chainlink so invaluable because uh, they're going to be needed for all these other projects to take off and perform. And that's, all, that's why I'm really bullish on Chainlink. And Mr. John Longoria says, what's your opinion on using the Exodus crypto wallet? I really like Exodus. You know, some people complain about the fees and I understand if you're moving coins in and out often and swapping often that, you know, you will get eaten up with fees. I don't disagree with that, but I love the simplicity of it and uh, the, the performance of it and the utility of it. And for me personally, it's where I just simply send all my VeChain to and it automatically starts producing VTHOR uh, coins for me. And because I don't move it, it's my long-term investment. I'm not really paying anything except the one-time uh, deposit fee for the VeChain. So I personally really like Exodus. And uh, just under eight minutes remaining, ladies and gentlemen, for those that are here to uh, for the giveaway, Please type exclamation mark doge, exclamation mark doge, and you will be automatically entered into the uh, contest. And at the end of the seven and seven minute runtime, uh, give or take, uh, the chatbot will select one winner. You must be a subscriber. Once again, if, you are name, if your name is chosen and you're not a subscriber, I will choose someone else. That's the only real stipulation that I'm pretty bullish about is that uh, we need the subs and likes here, ladies and gentlemen, to continue to have these giveaways. What do I think the new low will be for VeChain this drop around? Well, obviously, uh, we've been sitting at about the six and a half cent mark for most of the day. It would be amazing if that's a new floor. <clears throat> of course, we've seen uh, substantial dips whenever Bitcoin corrects and usually the, the rest of the crypto space follows. So it's impossible to know. You know, we can speculate, but if the 6.5 cent mark is around, is a new floor uh, for the immediate, that's fantastic. So, uh so we'll have to wait and see, won't we? Sniper asking, should I use Doge faucet? Is it a scam? Broke so free. I'm not too. I'm not familiar with that at all, my friend. I'm gonna have to look into that for you. I, I've never even heard of that. Mr. Sean Hudson, who are the ones disliking the stream? Yeah, I think about that sometimes too, right? Like, man, uh, do you not like a chance to win free stuff so much that you down you downvote it? <laughs> Golly, man, you must. <laughs> why are you even here? You know, like you should be on your yacht somewhere sipping sipping a Chardonnay or something. If you don't need this so much, let me go to this guy's stream and hate it. Then I'm gonna go do something else. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Smeets asking what I think about the graph. I actually, I love the graph. I think it's going to be an amazing project and whatnot. Uh, but it's been it's been pretty stagnant lately. In fact, to the point where it uh, yes, this morning, yesterday, I actually sold out. I moved out of uh, the graph and moved into Hogecoin just for the for the immediate because uh, I just wasn't liking what I was seeing with the graph financially. But the project is amazing, and I think long term it's gonna be great. I really do. Uh, the the blockchain projects need something to uh, categorize and and whatnot and be able to to you know look into and, and research and pull up at, at your fingertips. So long term is I think it's gonna have its place and it's gonna be great. But uh. But for the immediate, I personally chose to move out and see what Hoge does for a few days or a few weeks, and and we'll see. It could be a mistake, but you know, crypto space, no one really knows, right? Uh, when when the pros say speculating, I say guessing. You say speculate, I say guessing. Hey, ho, you know, that's all it really is, right? Can I share my thoughts on BTT? People ask me that a lot. I really don't have any interest in BTT. Uh, it's been around for years. I used to actually mine it at one point. I haven't seen anything with the project that shows any reason why 
it it's performing better. I hate the words pump and dump, but I see a lot of these Reddit communities pushing the coin. I I just don't I don't understand why. Maybe I'm missing something. It's just not not an interest. I'm not interested in the coin personally. Three and a half minutes remaining, ladies and gentlemen, for uh, everyone to enter the contest. You need to type exclamation mark. Doge exclamation mark Doge. Mr. Prasad says I should loon into BNT. Uh let's see. Casper coin I'm not familiar with unfortunately yet. Do you see future to Ethereum? Yeah, Ethereum's always gonna have a place. There's so much built on it already. It's not. It's not gonna like collapse or, or fall apart or anything like that. Uh, the, you know, the the low circulate, the low the low supply and all that stuff in regards to like Bitcoin and all that stuff like that is gonna keep it very valuable and it's always gonna have a place. You know, a lot of the new projects that are coming out now, the coins are actually far superior in a lot of cases. But because so much is built on Ethereum, it's like a foundation and it's gonna be here for a long time. I don't trust anyone's predictions unless they're posted on send me half where users past predictions are shared and ranked. Well, if you want to know my past predictions, they're all stored on YouTube on my channel. <laughs> I'm not going to go uh, send my opinions and guesstimations on other websites. Not, I mean, if that's what you like to use, that's, that's fine. I, I, I understand, but I have everything recorded on my YouTube channel for anyone to look at any time. If you guys would like to know what, what I predict or expect out of these coins that we go over and we go over dozens of coins all the time in the Bradley Assassin YouTube channel all the time. Reef I stay away from because the guy that uh, is behind the development team pulled some shenanigans and, and has a bad reputation. So I chose not to uh, pursue Reef whatsoever uh, as the development teams are the core of the coins. So I avoid shady, shady folks. One minute remaining, ladies and gentlemen, if you're here for the contest, exclamation mark Doge, exclamation mark Doge. You just got under a minute left, and then after this minute runs, we will let the chatbot close it out and pick a winner. And we will see who wins. And like I always say, don't fret, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't win. Uh, don't, you know, don't be negative. Please congratulate the winner and understand that we do these every Friday for now. If the channel continues to grow, we may do more. But you'll have a chance every week to win free stuff here at the Bradley Assassin YouTube channel. And here we go. That is it. The timer has come to an end. So let me pull the timer off of the screen. Boom. And uh, it says right here, uh, from Streamlabs, the allowed entry time has expired. You can no longer enter the giveaway. So right on time, right on cue. At least that worked perfectly. And uh, I will pop on over and let the... Uh, let the chat bot randomly select a winner in uh, five, four, three, two, one. And there it is, Jawad Cassis. Uh, let me see if it shows it on stream. Uh, Jawad Cassis has won. Let me see if he's in the chat. Uh, where is my option to look at the uh, 
Mm. I hate YouTube's uh, chat thingy. Okay, uh, I'm looking for Mr. Jawad Cassis. Participants. Uh, go down to the J's and uh, he is not here. So you know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. We will pick another winner. So I hope no one left. That's what happens. You can't leave this thing, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know why you want to miss out on your chance. Oh, now he's here. Okay. He's here, ladies and gentlemen. He wasn't here a second ago, but now he's here. All right. He's officially here. He just sent me a message. Okay, so congratulations, Mr. Jawad Cassis. If you can uh, send me a, a message on Facebook, and uh, I will, once I make contact with you on Facebook, I will uh, close the stream out, but I want to make sure that I can contact you. So send me a message on Facebook, and I am the Bradley Assassin on Facebook as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thanks for hopping in today, giving us the likes and the subscribes and the views. Um, don't forget, we stream here live every day at the Barely Assassin YouTube channel. If you want an, a chance to vote on what you'd like for me to give away, uh, make sure you're here for the Monday live streams where we vote on that. And then we have the giveaways every Friday. So I am per currently waiting on uh, Mr. Jawad Cassis to send me a notification message on Facebook so that I can get his information. So until then, I will be here on the stream. Mr. Jason Dixon says, can't buy that new coin. The wallet won't let Texas buy. MetaMask doesn't, uh, doesn't ask for your location. That's very strange. All right. It asked you for your location? That's super weird. Yes, Mr. Joai Cassis, I'm waiting right now for you to send me a message on Facebook. Once we have established contact, I can end the stream and uh, take care of you off stream. I'm in contact with him, ladies and gentlemen, here on the chat. I'm just waiting for him to contact me on Facebook as I don't like uh, exchanging wallet information on chat, even though I know it's deposit only, but still, I just do it for the, the winner's sake. If you don't have a Facebook account, you can contact me on Twitter. If you don't have a Twitter account, 
you can email me there's lots of ways to do it i just offer facebook first and foremost because most everyone has a facebook account okay so i think i should have it now or at least i saw it a second ago all right okay so ladies and gentlemen i'm officially in contact with the winner now and i will end my stream but like i said um don't forget every day here the barely assassin youtube channel live streams mondays you can vote on what you want me to give away fridays we do the giveaways uh, make sure you like and subscribe and when you subscribe turn notifications on so you don't miss every time we go live and have giveaways and all that other fun stuff also go back and check out our previous video on uh hoge finance for those that have questions and are interested in investing as i have an entire tutorial on uh, how to get it done but that's it for now we will see everyone very very soon thank you all